Greetings gamers, welcome back to building IFK Yoda Borg. Hope you're still enjoying the series, if you are, please do smash that like button. Uh, I did notice some of the views seem to have dropped away, obviously it does happen, I know it's towards the back end of FM and all that. But uh, if you are enjoying it though, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, obviously we did have to kind of like restart it, so that might have affected things, but do let me know, that would be awesome. Uh, and I will try and pop up some of your comments, because like I said in the last episode, um, because of everything going on, with like rebooting it, I didn't have a chance to go through a lot of the comments, but... I will reply to all them now, so I will pop a few of the interesting ones on the screen for you to have a little look at. So thank you very much for your comments. Please do keep them going. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, I love some of the comments for the IKEA question. That was kind of cool. Uh, some of the ones that people came up with, I'll try and pop some of them up now. But yeah, thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, comment and like the video. Now, I did also mention about the regen naming. We haven't really got loads of them yet. Also, we're only going to get that one guy that came in who is decent. And I might look at doing a regen naming for him, um, where he's got now Petta. But I'll probably save it until we get a few more coming through. So do let me know in the comments. Um, just something interesting. If you keep commenting sort of in episodes with something a little interesting, maybe make some little stories up for some of the players, something like that then I will pick you guys out for some regen namings. And I will do a specific giveaway as well, probably maybe the start of next season. Now then, guys, we'll have a quick look at some of the players just so you can see how they're developing. Uh, Peter Jezek, you know, talking about a young player, he has played a few games, not doing anything too spectacular, and he's sort of got some up and down arrows, um, probably because he's played a lot of, you know, a few games and he's had to, like, rest and train in a few of those because it's been back-to-back. -back. But I've tried to kind of throw him in at the deep end, see how he does. I say he's not really done anything too major, but obviously he's only 16, he's only settling to the side and all that kind of jazz. So we'll see how he gets on. I do like his kind of little bushy, pointy eye eyebrows he's got there. That's kind of cool. Uh, but he hopefully will develop into a really, really good, solid player. Um, Anderson, kind of annoyed that we would not really get to use him much. He has missed quite a few games from injuries and, and things like that. Uh, we have obviously had a lot of suspensions recently as well. You can see we've got two suspended for this game as well, which isn't ideal. Uh, early Mac doesn't have his five star potential anymore, which is a little bit concerning, a little bit worrying, but he's still a quality solid player, and again, he'll be a good backup sort of rotation option even for the future, and he's homegrown, so he'll obviously be definitely sticking around the squad. Wilkson though is still developing nicely, uh, not really good. He's probably been our really sort of standout youth prospect. Uh, I have recently given him a new deal, but I think it must have not taken effect yet. I don't, don't know. I'm not sure why his value is so low actually. Yeah, he has a new deal. I feel like it should be a lot higher. You know, he's a really good, solid player, but either way, we'll see what happens there. But uh, he has still got potential. Um, Georgie, he's he's doing all right, is Georgie. He has come a little bit better in recent games, but uh, we'll see, obviously, how he develops over the season. I think we're probably A, going to lose him because he's still wanted by 14 clubs uh, and some decent clubs in there. So I think we're definitely going to lose him. And obviously, we've got to let him go for like 1.8 million bids. One thing I'm thinking, though, is we do have to let him go for that, but we could always keep rejecting it, and they'll obviously probably keep bidding higher and higher. Obviously, he'll be unhappy, but if we're going to sell him anyway, it might not be a major issue. I don't know what kind of major impact that would have on the squad. I do think some of the form issues have been down to him. You can see, directs-wise, we're looking really good at the minute. Um, just one unhappy player, which is Georgie, wanting to leave. So, because he's kind of like a big top influencer on here, I do wonder if maybe him being a little bit meh, wanting to leave, that kind of stuff, is affecting the other players, and obviously affecting his performance as well, but also affecting the other players. I'm not quite sure what effect it has, but I do wonder, um, because that is a major difference between the sort of two seasons that we've played so far on this. But anyway, schedule-wise, we last met for the 2-0 defeat against Norcopping, where we did absolutely nothing, and the 1-0 uh, victory over Falkenbergs, where, again, we kind of did not... Well, we had chances, but... Well, we had attempts. We didn't really have a lot of good quality stuff there, though. Uh, we then folded up Fortune with a 2-3 three, well, three, defeat against IK Sirius. Again, a game where we should have done better. We had chances. We just seemed to be really, really sloppy at the back. Uh, early goal, and then straight away equalised, and it kind of set the tone for the game, to be honest. They then uh, went 3-1 up. We did pull one back, but just couldn't get the equaliser. So we, we were pushing at the end of the game. We Probably could have got an equaliser on another day, but it want to be. Hammerby, 1-0 victory. Another red card, this time late in the game. But uh, there has seemed to be a lot of red cards going uh, going sort of down, should we say. And, um, yeah, I don't really know why, but it does seem to be a big thing where there's a lot of red cards at the minute. Um, just quickly checking, yeah. 
For a second, I kind of thought I hadn't set off the recording thing. <laughs> uh, 3 0 victory over BK Hacken. Now, hopefully, we're going to do the exact same in today's game because that would get us the Swedish Cup final. But really good performance. I changed the tactic for this game and we got two goals from Soda, one from the penalty spot, and a goal from Yusuf. Played really well. Good domination of the game. Young coming Sondra, a team I really wanted to beat. They were around our sort of level. They've been having a decent season, to be honest. But um, yeah, just. Again, poor defensively, like mistake-wise, I think. Um, but we played all right, and I think we should have won this game. We did have another man sent off, again, late in the game, but there does seem to be a lot more red cards. And on It was either this one or that one. When we came to that fixture screen after the match, I noticed that there were about four or five red cards out of like the eight games or something. So there seems to be a lot more red cards recently since some of the recent updates. Not sure if that's an actual thing that's changed. Do let me know in the comments if you've seen a lot more red cards lately on FM, but it just seemed to be not a major thing. And then it just seems to, like, from around, like, here somewhere, it seems to just, like, pfft, red cards all the time and suspensions galore. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. Either way, then, we have got a very tough fixture against Malmo, who are just destroying teams in the league still and doing really well, and a Swedish Cup final against BK Hacken. I've got to say... I'm more focused on the BK Hacken Cup final game because that can get us Europe, as we know. So that's my priority. Because if we get Europe, it might help us attract a couple of players I've got on the radar. Um, so we'll see how things go there. Yeah, that's kind of it, guys. I'll quickly show you the competitions, though, so you can see Malmo just destroying teams for fun. We are currently sitting in sixth place. Now, we have got a game in hand on a couple of teams up there. So a win would get us up potentially as high as third. You can see Sirius are doing pretty decent, so that 3-2 defeat isn't the end of the world, but it's still a team I would have liked to have beaten, and I think on another day we probably could have done. But yeah, that's my main focus, the cup game. But uh, yeah, let's get into it, guys, and see what is what. So this is our new tactic. Libero Master, I've called it. It's not This is actually the first time we're using this version. I was previously using this one. Uh, which I just called Newbie. I had Newbie 1 and Newbie 2. Newbie 1 was basically like this, but that was just a ball-playing defender. Uh, I've changed it over. And I was debating attacking midfield, but I've got an advanced playmaker just because we don't really have... One thing I did notice, we didn't really have a playmaker as such. So I thought, we'll try that rather than attacking midfielder. I don't know if it's a better or worse position, to be honest, but I'm just trying things out, to be honest. Now, we played this one, and we played all right. That 3-0 winning against BK Hacken, it was great. It, we did still have a few opportunities where we were a bit caught out, and that will happen with just the two centre-backs, but obviously he's kind of there to drop in, and, and they obviously will support and kind of make it a back five if they have time to regroup, which we're not kind of telling them to do, so maybe that is something to change. Maybe I should put regroup on there. Do let me know in the comments. But we're going to go with this one, and that's purely because I thought, well, actually, let's go three at the back to make us a little bit more solid. But I was like, ooh, Libero. In that, the role where they push up, and so I read it, and basically, yeah, so in possession, they'll push up and kind of act like that player in the middle, like we had in the previous one, in this one. So I've kind of gone with that to see how it works. Now, I'm kind of testing this against Malmo, the best team in the league, so it's probably going to go awfully, but we'll see, guys, we'll see. Maybe it's going to be a stroke of genius, who knows. Um, yeah, so the team line is... And, uh, Anestis in goal, Calicia, Vilkstrom will be the libero, because he can actually play it really well, to be honest. De Gracer, Yalo, Vernison, who is carrying a knock. He got injured in uh, training, but uh, he's kind of our... We need him, basically, because we've got suspensions to Williams and early Mark as well. We've got Yusuf, who's going to cover the ball in midfielder role. Anderson, Anderson, he's going to come in and play a rare game for us, but hopefully does really well and doesn't get injured. Uh, Jezek is going to play in the... Playmaker role, I was debating between Afyan, but he's not really done anything. So I might as well go with the other guy who's not done anything, but has potential. We've got Georgie and Sother up top. So let's get into the game, guys, and see how we get on here. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it goes well. I just don't want to get spanked is the main thing, to be honest. Prove a point. Prove a point. Is that what we want to do against Malmo? I think they'll take it badly. I'm going to say we've got nothing to lose because I don't want to put pressure on them, to be honest, in this game, which might be a bad thing because they might play a little bit lackadaisical and then get thumped, but I'm going to give it a try and see. And three minutes in the game, we've conceded. Jesus, guys. 
there's been a few early goals recently, which isn't great, but uh, that's not a brilliant start, to be honest. I did kind of worry, would it make him a bit like lax about it with that team talk, but I was hoping it would just mean that they wouldn't like react too negatively if uh, we did lose, but I didn't mean go out there and immediately concede, though. Although we're not really seeing a lot else. We've got a bit of possession, but not really any chances happening at the minute. I'm going to fire and get creative out there, because we need something to actually happen for us here, if we're going to do anything in this game. And they're having more chances, and they've had no clear cuts or anything. They're having the better of the game, so I think we are going to sort of give them a bit of a... Come on. Show me something else. I'm going to give them that, just because we've not really done anything um, first half, so... Be nice to see some highlights in this game. That has been a thing that's been missing in a few games. Bit of an aimless ball forwards that, which isn't great. One thing that is different on this one, I've kind of gone in the previous sort of tactic. It was kind of a, a shorter passing play. What was it? No, a standard passing with a lower tempo, so a bit slower on the ball. Whereas this one's higher tempo with shorter passing. I'm not sure which is the best because sometimes in that last version we just seem to be a bit too slow. But then on this one, sometimes we seem to be a bit too fast and a bit too aimless. So I'm not sure if to maybe just go down the middle with it, but we'll see. Uh, Soda has beaten his man here. He's through. Soda. Soda. Oh, he's in the post. Oh, Robin. That was a beautiful attempt. He has done that on a few games. I think in that serious game where it was 3-2, he had like two opportunities like that where he could have scored and it like hit the post or it just went wide. Got a free kick here. I'm going to make some subs after this. We'll see what happens here. De Gracer will collect. Needs to recycle possession. Goes to the youngster, who might be the one who gets replaced. We'll see how he does here. He's got the ball out wide. Great ball in. Keeper flaps it, and Soda off the post, I will add. Gets a goal. Come on, boys. Okay. Okay. Right. We're, we're level. We're level against the best team in the league, so... Hmm... So this was a really good ball. It was like nicely curved. So it like curled around the defender. Keeper absolutely flapped. I'm like, let's not, you know, go too much into it. The keeper had a nightmare there. If you look at the chances though, we've had two clear cuts and they've had none. They've got a couple of half chances. Interesting. I'm going to say to my more, Yusuf having a bit of a poor game out there. Not seen a lot from a few players, to be honest. Georgie having a struggle as well. I'm going to bring on Amian. Uh, I mean, Afian, rather. For Georgie, who's having a bit of a quiet game. And I think... There's not much else I can really do, to be honest. I think we'll make that one change for now. Because, you know, the young statue was involved with the assist for that goal. Well, kind of. I mean, it was a bit of a flap. I'm going to say to my more again. Got a few nervous players. They've got a free kick. Come on, let's defend this. Defending has been our weak point. Oh, God. Oh, God's sake. This is what it feels like in a few of these games, guys. We're not doing awfully, but then they get a set piece and we just concede. We've conceded. Most of our goals have been set pieces. I'll be brutally out there. I don't know if, again, maybe they've been OP'd because that didn't, again, seem to be a thing before, but we just seem to get slaughtered on set pieces. And the thing is, we've got lots of players back there. And we've got tall players, we've got decent defensive players, and we're going to lose it due to a set piece. Oh, was it two set pieces, actually? I can't remember what the first goal was, actually. I'm just going to quickly actually look at that, because I think I put it out of my mind. Yeah, it was kind of a... It was a it was a second phase of a set piece, wasn't it? It was a second phase. Ugh. I am going to say that, though, because it is top of the league, 2-1. We didn't do awfully there. We didn't do awfully, but... Good about the set pieces thing. It definitely is a theme for us, though. We are conceding a lot of set pieces, so I might have a look at our set piece things. But I mean, what can you do? Someone puts a ball in and you're marking them and you just don't win it. I mean, what are you supposed to do about that? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just like trade set piece defending for like a month or something. I'm not sure, guys. But either way, really frustrating that we didn't get anything out of that game because I feel like we were worthy for a draw there. We were worthy for a draw, but it is what it is, guys. We'll move on and do the cup final, hopefully bounce back with a victory and lift the cup final. I'll see you in a second, guys. We're here, guys, for the final against Beaker Hacken. <clears throat> it's going to be a tough game, obviously, but 
We're both in inconsistent form, and that's probably our only saving grace here. At least it's not like a major, major team like a Malmo. Now, hopefully we can bounce back, get a win, get the cup final, which will obviously G everyone up as well, which might be awesome, you know, for the morale side of things, and also gets into Europe. Um, that's just kind of our major thing here. Let's try and go do it. Now, same formation, same tactic, um, only changes are a few players returning, so got the hiccups for some reason. That's really annoying, sorry for that. Uh, so we've got Anissi goal who... Collective win bonus, great, good for you. Uh, Calisier, Vilkstrom, De Gracer, Yallo and Vernison. We've got Early Mark and Yusuf, because um, he's come out of suspension. Afian, Georgie and Soda. Uh, the youngster and Anderson drop to the bench and uh, we'll hopefully use them uh, for a bit of fresh legs, shall we say. Now let's go and try and do this, boys. Let's go try lift the beautiful cup above our arms again. Because we enjoyed doing it the first time. Let's go do it for the fans. Come on, boys. Not conceding an early, early goal would be lovely. I am worried that it's a minute into the game, though. <laughs> Hopefully, it's going to be us for a change. Calicia, yellow. Like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm still wanting to play a few games to sort of see how I feel about the tactic and um, any changes I want to make. It's not fundamentally too different than how we were playing before. For some reason, it seems to be a bit, bit jerky. Don't know why. Hopefully, it'll settle down soon. Vernison. Bernison gets for his man somehow. There's Jello with the header. Oh, over the bar. Decent effort, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's settle in this game. Let's show the fans what we're made of today. Fifteen minutes in, not a lot happening, to be honest. In quite a quiet opening to this game, though. We are getting dominated in possession, which is surprising because normally we do all the dominating. In the possession. Um, okay. I've got a free kit though. I'm in, drops it in. There's Vilkstrom on the back post, but it's over. He's usually pretty lethal from uh, set pieces. But uh, we've had, we've come back into it with chances, but we've just not seen a lot. I will give him a get creative for the final bit of this half. See if we can grab a goal before half time. That would be awesome if we can. There is a highlight. Maybe it'll happen. Come on. Need a good quality opportunity here. Soda. It's pulled off, see out wide. Into Georgie, edge of the box, usually his territory. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, either the keeper saved it, but it looked like it hit the post to me. Oh, that almost was a Georgie special there. We almost got to shout his name again. Um, I'm going to passionately say... Yeah, show everyone the right to back us up. I mean, I just need something to fire them up. Um, they just seem a little bit, a little bit quiet. To be honest, let me try and fire them up a little bit. 6.3, 6.2s, some really poor performances out there, and I don't know why, to be honest. I don't get why we're playing so poorly. Uh, fight, show some passion, see if we can get something going here, but we just seem to be playing a bit poor in a lot of the games, to be honest. Yusuf, early mark, drops in for yellow, is there. Oh, good save. Uh, hmm, interesting. I am going to just pause it quickly. Go to the tactics, and I mentioned this before about the higher tempo and things, and I might just drop that down to a lower tempo, standard passing directness, and just see what effect, if any, that has uh, on, on us, to be honest. Um, I'm tempted to go regroup as well when we're out of possession, just because it's something we mentioned earlier about maybe that's better. I think we will... George is just having a shocking game, to be honest. So we're going to bring him off. We'll put the youngster up there. Uh, but we'll probably swap him around. And I think Yusuf also having a poor game. We'll bring Anderson on for him. I mean, so does having a... Everyone's having a rubbish game. <laughs> Everyone's having... We've had 16 shots, 8 on target. But we're just not doing enough with it for some reason. I don't know why this seems to be a thing with us at the minute. But Yalo, coming forwards here... What can he do? He needs a good delivery. Cuts it back to uh, Jezek. Finds Soda. Come on. Don't know why the game seems to be a bit jerky, though. That's what I've noticed. I don't know why. I've not got loads of things open, so I don't quite know why that is. But uh, either way, Yellow cuts back. Finds uh, Jezek, who pulled away on the edge of the box. Nice little dinked in delivery for Soda to get his head on. Finds the corner. Keeper does get a hand to it. But luckily for us, couldn't keep it out. 1-0. Euroborg League. The problem is they're going to come at us now. 
they are going to come at us. So we've got to be prepared for that. They are going to slaughter us, you know, in terms of just throwing men forwards. I'm going to give a demand more. Try and keep us focused. I'm not going to go defensive because I just don't think we can. I honestly just don't think we are good enough to just try and hold out the game, to be honest. I mean, 6.8, they're doing all right now. They're not like, no one's playing like super well. Obviously, Soda got his goal, but they're not all playing awfully. So I think we'll kind of hope and pray. And I think we've done it, guys. We've got over the line. It was not, it was not a classic. Let's just say that for sure. There is definitely some issues which I'm going to have to obviously tweak with. I'm happy enough with this. I've not seen much from Wilstrom to see if that's working or not from the sort of libero side, but I've not seen Lowe's say it's not working. Yeah, we were all right. We had two, oh, we had no, we had two woodworks, but no clear cut chances. 18 shots, 10 on target, but no clear cuts. It's not ideal from us, to be honest. It might be a case that we go two up top and see if maybe that affects things. I mean, extra striker rather than than this and maybe maybe the advanced playmaker didn't work and again i've not seen a lot from this sort of i've not seen a lot from it yet to sort of negatives or, or positives really but i'm gonna say well done guys um congratulations uh, you know, i'm not gonna say how bad we won the cup that's that's the main thing to be honest and at the very least we're into europe so we win the swedish cup which is awesome because we won it last time, so it would have been annoying if we didn't win it this time. But we have got through uh, and won the Cup. We qualified for the Europa League, which is awesome. Get a whole £4,000. Wow. <laughs> Great stuff. But yeah, we have won it, which is beautiful. And we can breathe again. It's still in consistent form from us, really. We're still just not quite there. Now, we have got a couple of games in June, which we didn't really have before. Um, we do have one at the early part of June and the late part of June. So we have got a bit of time off in the middle. But last time we kind of had the entire of June off. So we have got games this time. So I'm not sure how that exactly works it out or anything. I don't really know. But we have got some games to play against Halmstads and Kalmar. So I'll play those offline. And we'll probably come back and do the AIK and Elfsport games. Because uh, they obviously did us over last time. So it'd be nice to see if we can do them over this time. Get a bit of revenge. And obviously AIK is AIK. We've got to play them. So we'll do that in the next episode, guys. We hopefully might have some transfers in there. We're probably, I think, going to lose Georgie. Whether I put try and put that clause into learning back or not, we'll see. Because, you know, he's not played amazingly. But then again, he is a quality player. So I will see. But I do think we will lose him. You know, there's going to be enough teams, I think, that bid for him. The thing is, hopefully we can either get him back or get a really good replacement and and thing is that might be what we need we might just need to kind of get rid of that unhappy player to kind of get the squad performing again i'm not sure guys but we'll see how things go in the next episode thanks for watching and i'll see you soon